So about a week ago, we put up a poll in the um, in the No Child Left With A Big Behind website, and it was for you guys to choose what you guys wanted to watch me cook in this cooking video. And of course, you guys chose the Bert's Mini Pizza, and so that's why we're here for. It. So let's get into the whole shebang now. So right now, I'm just gonna show you how to do the dough and what little tricks I've learned to add. So. For the mini pizza, we're going to need one cup of wheat flour, or normal flour, or whatever you want, okay? So one cup of that, then, this is one of my tricks, I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of mozzarella cheese. And the mozzarella, remember, is part skim, low moisture, so there you go. Then, I'm going to add, so I have it here in this shot glass, because I don't have anything else. Yeah, right, chocolate. Okay, so, in here, I have um, one teaspoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of yeast. Then, we're going to add two tablespoons um, of, of applesauce. Totally, I had a brain fart. So, here you go, two tablespoons of applesauce. And last but not least, we're gonna add, I know you like my cup, yeah, it's ridiculous. And here I have fourth of a cup of water. So that's for my dough, and now I'm just gonna mix it uh, until it's well, until all the ingredients have come together. So I mixed everything and you should get something like this, like a ball of little lumps in the dough. And it shouldn't be extremely wet, but it shouldn't be extremely dry, just in between. And what you're going to do is that you're going to put it in the fridge and let it cool down for about 5 minutes. So I'm going to put it in the fridge and I'm going to come back and explain you guys what the topic is. So while the dough cools down, I'm going to try to explain you guys what the toppings are. So right here I have about 3 fourths of a cup of mozzarella cheese, again low, low moisture part skim. I have um, mushrooms, I don't go for the $100 mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, no. I go for a can of mushrooms that they come in water, I use those. It's easy for me. I don't. I don't spend a thousand dollars. Whatever. If you are, if you want to use shiitake mushrooms or crazy unknown mushrooms, go ahead. Um, I'm using those for now. Um, also, I have green olives, which I've sliced, and I have turkey ham, which I've diced. For the sauce, I'm not Italian. I don't know how to do sauce from scratch, so what the hell? I'm not gonna go kill myself, right? So what I what I did is I bought um, one of those ragu cans bottles of of, of um, spaghetti sauce. So this is it, this is sun dried tomato and basil. I mean, this is gonna give it another taste to the pizza, so I don't have to worry about the taste. So, so now that I've explained, let's go back to the dough and let me tell you what we're going to do next. Okay, so after you cool down and I explain how it should look, now we're going to roll the, the dough. Um, I just want to let you know that I don't know how to roll the, the dough. It might just come up a little bit of a square pizza, so I apologize. So let's start rolling the dough and let's see how it comes out. So first of all, I always like to have a, at least have a cup of um, extra flour next to the rolling experience. And I always start by putting a little bit on, on the surface where I'm going to, to roll this thing. And I'm pretty sure you, you guys might know how to do this better than I do. Right here is like having a baby and not knowing how to take care of one. So this is just one of those experiences where you don't know. Okay, so we're back to our prep place, two feet away from our rolling place, whatever. And 
Let's spray some cooking spray onto the pizza thing, this pizza platter thing. I don't know how you call it. And let's put the dough on it. And start stretching it again because remember that I told you that we need it thin? You'll see why. Okay, so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna add, you're gonna get the cheese and you're gonna, oh, before you do anything, oops, uh, spray the dough with the spray pan. Spray it, and now it's ready. Now what you're gonna do is that along the border, you're gonna add mozzarella cheese. Yes, I know that you know what we're doing now. We're doing a stuffed crust pizza. And I like it because I hate those dried, unflavored, insipid crusts. I like to have some goodness in the crust, so this is my chance, you know? Okay, so I'm done rolling my dough, which I don't know what shape it is, but whatever. So let's go back to the prep room, well, prep place and let's put all the toppings on. Okay, so I've outlined my pizza with cheese and now what I'm gonna do is just try to do like a taco thing where I kind of just do a little... It's gonna be like a little border that we're gonna do, okay? So let's do that. So I'm done doing the stuffed crust. I'm just shaping it and you can see it should be something like that okay I know it's hard it's a heck of a job to do this so okay so after it. I did all this we I'm ready to put the sauce and all the toppings which I mean you don't have to follow this recipe you can do whatever toppings you want and So after a 10 to 15 minute baking time, um, I took the pizza out and it's ready to go and I'm going to enjoy it. What the hell? It looks good. It smells good. You know what? Why not enjoy a piece, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Mm-hmm.